Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be shopping at TJ Maxx. I film these videos quite frequently um, and I've filmed them for years going over TJ Maxx beauty section. We've gotten into kind of more areas like the clothes, the purses, the decor as well. But I've, I've always been doing TJ Maxx makeup kind of videos for a long time. And I know there's been some videos put out there, you know, kind of going against the TJ Maxx beauty section and how we shouldn't shop there and how it's sketchy and all this stuff. So I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts here in the beginning of the video, kind of share with you how I shop TJ Maxx and how you can shop smart. And so you're not obviously picking up products that have been opened used put their fingers in and stuff like that because it is bound to happen at this type of a store unfortunately but I don't think that should deter you from shopping here I think you can still find some really great things and I know a lot of you guys are also expert TJ Maxx shoppers as well you can kind of tell when stuff looks open when stuff looks used but it is kind of annoying that everyone does open up all the products here in this kind of a store. I just, I don't think there's any way to monitor it unless the TJ Maxx stores start putting everything in glass cases, which some of my stores have started implementing this and having a glass case for all their higher end things that are over $20. So, I mean, obviously those are good places to shop, but it's also hard to find an employee to go ahead and get it for you. So that can be annoying. I think another thing they could do is have someone actually watching the makeup section um, and maybe like telling people if they do start opening something like please don't open that etc I think that could be good, but obviously I don't know if they would have enough employees to do that So unfortunately that's just it's gonna happen people are gonna open stuff and it's hard to kind of stop it Especially at a store like this because there's no testers and there's no way they can do testers That just wouldn't make sense when their inventory is different every single week, um, but even at Walmart, at Ulta, I've seen touched products, like, especially at Walmart, because they also don't have testers. Plenty of stuff, even lipsticks, have been open. So TJ Maxx is not the only store that this is happening to. But I think some of the best practices that you could do in store, um, I know not everyone can do this, but I tend to go, like, in the morning time, afternoon time, always look for their stocking carts. I know not everyone likes people shopping off the carts, but honestly, that is where you're going to get the brand new, unopened, untouched product, and that's typically where I find most of my things that I purchase. I've been buying makeup for years and years here at TJ Maxx, mostly powder products, liquid products. I'm a little more iffy on just because of expiration dates. A lot of times TJ Maxx does get either overstock items or items that are limited edition, items that have been changing packaging and stuff like that. So there is some stuff that is like a little bit before expiration that they're trying to get rid of. I don't find a ton of super expired products here by any means, but it happens sometimes. It does slip through the cracks sometimes. Um, luckily, a lot of skincare stuff does have dates on it. A lot of stuff I've seen is brand new. There's even brands that sell here as an authorized retailer. Glamlight, they literally ship their products to TJ Maxx to sell, as well as Biosons. I've literally asked them before, and they are an authorized retailer here at TJ Maxx. So it's not all sketchy. It's not all something to be scared of just shop smartly is all it comes down to I have seen the whole thing with the returns being put on the floor and that I think is a store problem with employees not really checking before putting it back but I can tell you for sure Ulta is not sending return products here and either is Sephora because I actually have worked at Ulta and we did destroy all the returns Unfortunately, you have to break everything and put it in the dumpster. They do not send used returned products to TJ Maxx. That is a wild claim, <laughs> but they actually do send some of their products there that are kind of not being sold in stores anymore or limited edition, like a Christmas set, stuff like that. They do send extra stuff to TJ Maxx from directly Sephora and Ulta. So it's not as sketchy as people are making it out to be. And I just kind of wanted to make this video and, you know, say this intro because I'm getting comments about it. It's affecting me in my videos, especially on Instagram with people like, I don't know, talking crap about it. And it's kind of annoying. So I just want to give you guys a peace of mind. And if it still makes you a little bit nervous, definitely you don't have to shop the makeup here but of course they have amazing clothing decor items purses there's tons of stuff besides makeup I've also found really good body care things here too um, newer items so 
yeah I love TJ Maxx I love shopping here I haven't bought as much makeup here as of lately I feel like they haven't had as much exciting things but like everything I've bought here you guys have seen all my hauls nothing has ever been super messed with and touched and anything of that I've never had any problems out of my probably 300 or so TJ Maxx videos. I mean, I've obviously found stuff in store that looks open, but you know, make sure your products are sealed. Um, most stuff has a little sticker. You could tell if it's been opened and stuff like that, but I definitely recommend shopping those carts if you can for the newest stuff. Anyways, that's enough for this like little intro. Uh, let's go see what TJ Maxx has new this week. So not all TJ Maxx stores are created equal. You can definitely find some that actually do take care of their makeup section like this one. You you can tell there's not a lot of open products and they do damage a lot of their stuff out if it is opened up or messed with so it just depends if you find one that actually like takes care of their stuff and some do actually do a good job of it sorry for the alarm going off but checking what i found i found some new lawless stuff here i always love finding their stuff we see it here from time to time i found a bunch of these it's a, the single one talk free eyeshadow i've never seen these before from them so I don't know if it's like a potted one, if it's just like a random single shadow. It's in the whole box, so I don't know. They only had one shade in glass slipper, and it's $4.99. And then I also found they had a palette here. And with this one, I don't even remember this one coming out either, which is so weird. But this is the Winter Beach one. I'll go ahead and insert a photo for you guys. But yeah, I've, I've seen all of their, the one palettes, but maybe this was like exclusive to their website. This is also $7.99. So that's pretty cool. I I feel like they have a decent formula. It's not my favorite ever, but I think for eight bucks, you can't beat it. I'm also seeing a ton of MAC here today. Like these lipsticks I haven't seen yet. These are the matte lipsticks. They have different like special packaging in Russian red, so this is just a normal color from them for $8.99. And then they have this one with the pink packaging, but it's in the shade Chili, which I think is a red shade. So I'm kind of surprised that it looks almost pink. And then this is a Luster Glass Sheer Shine Lipstick in Chili Popper. So maybe a play on the popular chili shade for $8.99. And then they have some of the Whitney Houston collab, which we did share in my last video, but lots of MAC. Um, also down here we have some Powder Kiss lipsticks. And these are Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Sticks, which I have not seen those before. This is in Mullet Over for $8.99. And we have Peppery Pink. A lot of shades. All Star and Nyes. Those look really good. I've never tried, but I don't know. I might look up reviews on them. Excited about this MAC find as well. They have the Lash Dry Shampoo Mascara, which came out earlier this year. So, fairly new product. It's supposed to be something you can use on your mascara to like revive it. I've always been curious to trying it out, so I might pick it up. It's $12.99, and again, it's like a newer product. Found one Pat McGrath product so far. There's been quite a bit lately at some of the other stores. This is one of their matte lipsticks, number Rouge, I think eight, matte trance for $14.99. And I don't know if I've seen these here before yet. The Too Faced Cocoa Bold Lipsticks. I really like these. They're like nice neutral shades. Really pigmented and creamy. I have the shade, let's see, Triple Fudge here for $9.99. And then how cute is this? I was just in the brush section. I know we've been seeing a lot of the Violet Voss like palettes lately. But they have this cute Care Bears brush set as well. Which is like a fun ombre handle. Adorable. These are $7.99. They look like eye brushes. Check out this huge beauty blender sponge set. You get three full sizes and the cleansing bar, which works really good even for just regular makeup brushes. And this is only $29.99, which I think the sponges are normally like 20 for one, so I think that's a pretty great deal. So this is what I mean by shopping these carts that they leave out here, unless an employee's working on it, because then you don't want to bother them, but I mean, this is all brand new stuff that they're putting out untouched yet. Lots of holiday sets and stuff like that. But you can usually find these every morning, afternoon, even evening times as well. I found something from the Revolution Grinch collection. We do see a lot from this brand, but this was such a fun collection they did last year. I really enjoyed it. This is a lip kit, perfect for the holidays. In Little Max, it has a liquid lip and a lip liner. This is $4.99. They also have the liquid eyeliner set from the collection as well. It's with the fuzzy packaging. This is $4.99 too. They also have the Grinch highlighter here too, which is probably my favorite thing from the collection. This is also $4.99. It's super cute, nice color. 
Okay, a few of you guys have been sending me that you've been finding this, and I just saw it in my store. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer here. It does say refill, so I don't know if this is just a refill. It's in the first shade of Fair for $19.99. This is one of my favorite bronzers, so that's crazy that it's here. But I will say this one's definitely broken. <laughs> you can hear it rattling inside, so that kind of sucks. And yeah, the packaging's all taped weird. So I don't know what's up with that. I'll have to see if I can find it again, but it looks like it is actually showing up here, but this one definitely has been messed with, I think. I'm seeing a ton of older ColourPop products from like their clearance section, like this Frozen 2 glitter. That's pretty old. That's $3.99. Liz McGuire blush. This one is a few, maybe two or three years old for $4.99. And then the Bambi collection, they have these cream gel pencils for $7.99 as well. Um, so these are a bit older. This is the Rumor Has It ColourPop palette for $4.99. I have seen some of their newer stuff here though. Had to check out the fragrances as well here. And I've been seeing a lot of people talking about this. I haven't seen it at my stores yet, but this vanilla potion perfume, just in like the cheaper section, it's $16.99. So curious about this one because yeah I've seen a lot of people talking about it in like the perfume community so I'm really curious you guys know I love vanilla they do have a lot of juicy scents though and I don't know if we've seen the neon one yet so I wanted to show that because I think that's one of their most recent launches besides the Supra that came out in Ulta this one is $29.99 so not too bad they also have the Glace one as well which is like a super sweet one too for $39 this time of year they also start getting in the big perfume sets which I always love looking at. Um, I don't see anything too exciting right now. They have Versace Bright Crystal here. This I feel like is they always have it. Um, Chloe, which one is this? Just their regular perfume. That's a popular one for $79. I've never seen the, the Cacherel scents here. I usually see them at Ross. This is a cute mini set for $12.99. And then they have the huge Versace Dylan Turquoise set here. Oh, it comes with the backpack. I remember seeing that on Sephora, I think, last year. Such a huge set. This is $69. Not bad. So a lot of TJ Maxx stores have started putting more of their high-end items in these cases. So you can find all the good stuff here and, of course, it's untouched. So the only thing is you have to like find an employee to get it for you, which can be annoying. But, I mean, you know it's like good new items. So, I mean, I don't really mind. I just had the employee grab something real quick, especially if it's not busy. But I can't really show the prices in here. I just had her grab two things, which I'll show you in a second. But they had this Viva La Juicy Petals Please perfume set, which looks so pretty. Oh, I could see the price, $49.99 for that one, which honestly is a pretty good deal. I feel like that's one of their newer scents. And they actually have tons of Pat McGrath in here as well. These palettes, like look at all that. They got tons of Glam Light Barbie. JLo Body is a new brand I haven't seen here yet. I heard this brand might be leaving Sephora. <laughs> so this is JLo's line at Sephora. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. So lots of good stuff in there. And then on the other side, it actually has a ton of the Mimic perfumes in here, which I know these are so popular. Um, I just grabbed a new one, which I'll share with you in a second. And then even more Pat McGrath, and I just grabbed this. Oops. And I just had them grab this quad for me here in the middle because I haven't seen that one yet. The Eternal Eden palette from them, so I'll let you know how much that is. And then I'm seeing here they have the pink holiday Pat McGrath palettes and the red one from two Christmases ago, or three maybe. I have not seen that in stores yet. And there's a cute Laneige lip mask set as well. Oh, well, I guess there's a bunch of stuff in there, not just the lip mask. It's all little mini. So cute. Okay, this is actually the Mimic scent that I found at the other store that was in the case. I decided to go ahead and film it here since they do have it out. So the number 57, this says it has pistachio and Tonka Woods. This is a spot on dupe for Kayali Pistachio Gelato, which is crazy that they have a dupe out so fast. And it's, I actually bought it. I've been wearing it today and it's a really good dupe. Like, I know these don't last that long but I can still smell it on my sweatshirt and it's been a couple hours now um, these are $19.99 but yeah I'm so surprised how similar this is I'm really impressed because I know sometimes these are hit or miss but this is a for sure hit if you can find it definitely pick this one up
They have tons more of these Clean Reserve scents. Lush Fleur. I don't know if these are older ones. But you can always find them here for a pretty good deal. This is $34.99. They also have the Cell Santel. That one's a little bit of a bigger package. Citron Fig in the back. I feel like these are more since they don't have at Sephora. And then they also have a bunch of the Mix Bar perfumes here too. We've only seen like a couple mists here before, but not the actual perfumes. This is Glass Rose for $9.99. And they also have the blackberry tonic here as well. So maybe some of their not so super popular ones. I've been wondering when the Christmas Onyx bathhouse scents are going to start showing up here. Because they're usually pretty early. But I did find this little mini set. So maybe this is a look at maybe some scents coming. We have a sweet vanilla, a frosty coconut. And it also has a sugared cranberry here. It's a little mini set. Let's see. This is going for $6.99. This is another really cute set from NCLA. They used to make like nail polish and stuff. I don't know if they still do, but they used to sell in Sephora. But this is a little lip set. It's so cute. Sugar Plum Fairy. Um, it comes with the Balm Babe, which I think is just like a lip balm, and then a sugar, sugar, and a sugar, sugar, <laughs> sugar scrub as well. So cute. I love the little tin it comes in. Let's see what they have for body care. We got some Tree Hut candy cane. Their body butter. I love this one. They comes out every year, but this is just the old packaging for $5.99. And then they have the scrub as well. They even have the Tree Hut candy cane shave oil here too, which I've never seen these here before. This is $6.99. I've been really liking these philosophy lotions too. I bought the lemon one last time. This is the vanilla and fig. For $9.99. This looks cute from the body shop. They have a body butter trio here for $9.99. Um, let's see. It comes with strawberry, the British rose, and then the Shea one in mini sizes. I'm seeing lots of branded like Christmas stuff too, like Stitch has these bath fizzers and then Elf. The movie has this Raised by Elves body in hand wash here too by Mad Beauty. I think that brand makes a lot of licensed stuff from Disney and other stuff in other movies like that. This is $4.99. I love this little coffee cup looking scrub by Pink Sky. It's peppermint mocha. It has a little scoop on it for $5.99. And then these are fun too. They look like little Christmas ornaments. These are little bubble baths. This is the strawberry one for $4.99. And they have a Grinch which is pineapple. And then they have Max which is an apple scent. Another cute scrub from Pink Sky. This is the vanilla peppermint one. Again with a little scoop. And some cute sets from Onyx Bathhouse. This is the coffee and donut set. It has a little bath soak and a bath bomb here. And this is a $5.99. And then there's a huge philosophy set down here too. I know they usually sell these at Ulta. This has five different scents in it. If you guys like gourmand scents, these are the way to go. It has snow angel, sparkling holly berries, shimmering snow lace, frosted snowflake, and cinnamon sugar and apple. Originally 30. These usually aren't always a huge discount here because they're already a deal. But this is for $22.99. It's a $40 value. A ton of different hair sets here. I don't think I've ever seen them have the T3 airbrush, which is interesting. I actually had this and I didn't really think it did a great job. I don't know. It's kind of like a heated brush that blow dries, but I just prefer the Dyson. Let's see, this is 79. Look at all the fun gingerbread house stuff here. Oh my, this is so cute. All the candy cane trees. They have so much right now. They even have a gingerbread nativity scene. I've never seen that before. So many cute things. And they have so much more when I checked the last time. I love this pink star tree. This is the cutest little gingerbread mug. I bought a gingerbread house one um, in the last video, but I think I need this too. $5.99. Adorable. I love it so much. Okay, another adorable mug. You know how they always have these like pink decor trees? And this one's a little cup. How cute is that? This is $7.99. I love when DW Home has these cute like pop can looking candles. They did Jingle Juice for the holidays for $6.99. And they also have the Cherry Christmas Cola. These do smell so good, but I know the throw in these is not great. 
I haven't seen very many of the Kringle candles, but they have a ton of the country candles from the same line. Lots of Christmas ones like Nativity, Twas the Night, and Peppermint Twist here. These are from the same brand. These are $9.99, which is a pretty good deal for those. Some more fun glass cups. These are super popular and they are now doing Hello Kitty ones. I think they're going to be doing so many of these this year. Some holiday Hello Kitty. This is $7.99. And they have this style as well. Super cute. Here's a cute juicy barrel bag. They've been having some adorable juicy bags lately. This is $19.99. Here's another fun juicy bag. This is a nice like furry one for I guess the holiday season. It's for $24.99. I love the pink color. And it has a little heart keychain on it. Even more juicy bags they have here. They have this huge duffel. It's almost like a velour kind of feel. It has a cute little heart keychain on it. This is $39. Super cute. They also have it in the black color down here too. And then this one's a little more unique. It's definitely a wintry bag. It has like the fur on it and everything. This one is $29.99. A bunch of these American Eagle like Christmassy sweaters got dropped off here. Um, they're $14.99. They have a gorgeous red. This blue one. And then I love the green. I might grab this. I wish they had it in a large, but they're only mediums. But they look kind of oversized, but I feel like this is so cute for Christmas time. And I love American Eagle sweaters. So I think I'm going to get that one. All right, guys. I want to show you everything that I picked up at TJ Maxx the past couple of weeks. So, of course, I had to get that Pat McGrath palette. I could not believe that this was in the stores. Of course, this one was in that glass case. So I didn't really get to go over it, like too much but this is the divine rose luxe quad in eternal eden i don't remember what collection this is from is it a holiday collection is it a valentine's day collection it looks very pink so it could very well be but it is so beautiful and I personally like that they have put the Pat McGrath and the expensive palettes in those glass cases now so then no one can touch the stuff. I also find that people aren't really buying these in the glass cases either. But here is the swatches. I think this is a beautiful rosy quad. I love Pat McGrath's quality, especially at a discount. I will take it. So I'm excited about that. Another makeup find. I was really intrigued about these MAC lip products. These are the Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Sticks. I got Spice World. I just wanted a fun color to wear for fall and it's just like a lip pencil and here is the swatch it really is a nice just like spiced dark rosy brown it looks so pretty and it's very pigmented and then I also picked up the Lash Dry Shampoo from MAC to try out. I've always been so curious about this, but I did not want to pay full price. So for $12.99, I'm excited to try that and see how it goes. This find is insane. I could not believe this Mimic perfume that is a dupe for Kaylee Pistachio Gelato already. Like what? How did they do that? This smells just like it too. I know some of the Mimic scents are hit or miss. I actually ended up picking the number 52 finally up, which is supposed to be a dupe for the strawberry milk from Melanie Martinez, but I might return this one because I honestly don't think this smells good at all. And maybe it really is a dupe. I just don't know. I don't have the original, but this does not remind me of anything super creamy and strawberry, but this is spot on. I'm telling you, I have both. I have the original Kayali. Love it. This is so similar. I can't believe it. And then I finally grabbed this perfume. This has been so hyped, I feel like, on TikTok. This is the Vanilla Potion. It was just one of their basic no-name brand perfumes. This is just straight vanilla. It's a little bit on the light side, so I could see why it is at a discount store. It's $16.99, so it doesn't cost a lot at all. But it's a really nice vanilla. A lot of you guys have this as well, and you say you love to layer with it. So I think this is a great layering vanilla. But it also smells good, and I feel like it, it's light, but it lasts on the skin. Um, in my opinion, it lasts for quite a bit. And then the last thing I got, I got this cute American Eagle sweater. They had just gotten in a shipment of these, and I thought they were so dang cute. It's like very Christmassy. And then I went to American Eagle <laughs> that same day, and they had something so similar to this already, even though this is an older style. But so cute. I love this green. This was $14.99, and yeah, it's American Eagle brand. I love when I can find their stuff at TJ Maxx. It's few and far between, but I do see it there. 
sometimes. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys were able to find these things again. Yes, the TJ Maxx beauty products are something to be wary of. But if you're smart, you know what to look for. I think it's still worth checking out, especially now that they have started putting stuff in those glass cases now. I find that to be super helpful. And you know, just be respectful when you're at the stores. You don't need to open every single eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Unless it's something you really want to buy, but if you're just wanting to know what it looks like, just Google it, you know? Hope you guys enjoyed this one, but I'm gonna let you guys go. And thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.